What's up in this sports world 27? I'm coming to you to talk about WEC 50, uh, who's going to be on that card and who's fighting for the title. Anthony Pettis versus submission artist Shane Roller. Shane Roller, he's got a very, and the winner will uh, get a title shot. Shane Roller has faced Ben Henderson before and he lost by, TK, by TKO uh, by punches. Uh, both of these fighters have very good records in the WEC. Uh, Shane Roller, after his loss, Ben Henderson has not uh, lost. He's beaten Marcus Hicks uh, by a decision. He has beaten Danny Castillo by a guillotine. No, or naked choke. He beat Anthony Nikawanja his last fight at WEC 48 um, by a rear naked choke. Now he's now he's going up against Anthony Pettis, who is also a very good submission artist, but his name is Showtime, and he also has amazing kicks, amazing punches. This kid's absolutely crazy and wild, but that's what I love about him. Uh, he's got skills all over the board, uh, awesome and amazing, but he's a little bit too young, a bit too immature, and he could make a mistake against Shane, and Shane uh, could uh, catch him in a submission. Uh, and uh, uh, Showtime might not be able to get out of it, uh, but uh, I'm predicting Shane Roller by a submission. You know, Anthony Pettis, uh, that was a great triangle that you had over Alex here, Alexis at WEC 48 while you guys were on the same card. Uh, that triangle choke was amazing. He got him in a triangle so he could pound him like that once when his, once when his legs uh, had, in, had in the triangle position. He leaned him down. Started hitting them hard, bombs away. Uh, it was a great fight. Uh, one of Anthony Pettis's also another wins is he's also beaten Danny Castillo uh, by a highlight KO by a head kick slash well air slash head kick punch. It was an amazing kick slash punch. Uh, but both these fighters have great talent. I'm just predicting Shane. Uh, Shane, I feel like he might he might not be able to stand with him. There's always a possibility that he could get knocked out. I think Anthony Pettis is a bit too small, though. Uh, but I'm still predicting Shane Roller for experience, and um, he's mat he's matured. Uh, he knows what's up and down in the sport of MMA. I'm not saying he's a complete and utter veteran, uh, but on the ground, he's really got the type of American uh, jiu-jitsu, find the submission, lock it in either a guillotine or a naked choke. Those are his two best submissions, and he puts them in hard, uh, and that's how I'm expecting the fight to go. Either that or unanimous decision to Shane Roller. That's it. What's up, this Sports Ball 27? I'm coming to you to say, please comment on my videos, good or bad. I don't care as long as it's not uh, commenting for no reason, stupid stuff. I like uh, good constructive criticism. Thanks.